Hey guys, Will Sam is back with another video. And right now, I guys, I went to Penn State for the blue and white game. And there was a coin shop there, so of course, I had to stop at it. And the stuff I found is amazing. It's going to be great additions to my collection. All the, Everything here was 10% off. I only spent $48.15 on everything you're about to see. Prepare to be amazed. So first, we're going to look at this quarter. 1924 Standard Liberty. I'd say it's about a very good to find condition. Nine dollars. Eh, that's a bit of on the higher end. It's all closed third to retail, but it still isn't retail. Um, I just needed one of these for my typeset. It was a good deal. I like the to the color on it, the corrosion for the toning. Has a bit of rainbow action there. Um, nice. Doesn't have much luster to it. Um, it's just a nice coin, honestly, though. Like. It's, if you like toned coins, this is a beautiful one. And I'm kind of a toned person. Next. Let me get this better. Um, next is 1897. You got those nice lettering. Oh, it's probably about an XF. High VF. Mid XF. Um, so yeah, 275 for that. Um, great price. 10% off, so... Probably like two fifty ish. Um, nice. We'll save that for later. Um, uncirculated nineteen oh eight Indian head penny seven fifty. That is a bargain, guys. Like, I looked online forty five dollar penny right easy easy right here. Um, has some nice coloring on the back. Got some more toning up in the corner. Um, it's more bronze in the middle. You got yellow right here. So, really nice coin. It was a bargain. Um, this is going in the book. Uh, um, next, 1938D Buffalo Nickel, another great priced coin, $2.75 is what I paid for this, um, this is going in the book too, I'm pro I, the one I'm replacing in the book is probably one that will be replaced, so this one I will probably end up selling my extra one of. Next, um, let's look, now we're getting into the cool stuff, next I picked this up. A Mercury Dime 1916. I'd say it's a good XF easily. It's a really nice Mercury Dime. Um, five dollars and fifty cents is all that I paid for this. This one my grandpa's actually gonna buy off of me with a with a Barber Dime. Here, let me go grab that Barber Dime really quick, guys. A Barber Dime that I bought from him um, earlier this. Not earlier this year, but yeah, I bought it back right around December. I bought it from him. Um, so it's going to go to him. Let's see if I can find her. Here she is. It's a really nice um, Barber Dime AU. So this, I'm trading this and this. Um, he, set, set ha he has a 1795 penny. He might trade that for it. Or, um, he said that he also has, the, right now the pending trade is he can't find that 1795 penny. So, um, basically until then, we're going with an MS69 1996 Silver Eagle, which is the hardest date in the series. Um, so that's what we're trading right now, and maybe a couple other coins. Um, the 96 is for this one mainly. This one I might throw in as a little bonus deal. I don't know, we'll see. Um... Okay, we'll save the best for last. Um, we got this, $15. 1853 large cent. It's actually in pretty good condition. You got most of the hairlines up there. Um, 15 bucks, that's a really good deal for this. It's probably VF. I'd say he grades it at a fine. I would grade it at a VF. He's always been pretty low on his grades, I think. That's another reason. And we've saved the best for last, guys. $11. Shield nickel. All the lines are on the shield. 1867, no raise. $11. Like, I think that was a ter better than terrific deal. Um, it's just a great coin. United States of America, five cent. Has that black kind of toning ish. Let's see if we can get up here and see some of them lines. You guys can see right there. All the lines are present. So this is a good $50, $70 nickel right here, guys. Um, I honestly just love this coin going to typeset. So I say with everything we picked up, 
of everything I picked up. I have to say, I did not do too bad. $48, all these coins. Comment below if you think that's a good deal. Remember, as always, like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me if you'd like to see certain coins, like the coins I'm getting ready to sell. Um, just tell me what you want to see. And So, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.